In the quiet, empty landscape near Murmansk, Russia, not far from the Norwegian border, lies a mysterious entrance to the center of the earth, an entrance that has sparked the interest of many and even earned the eerie nickname, the well to hell among locals. While the idea of a super deep hole may sound like something from a scary movie, the reality is much less frightening, though still amazing. This mysterious pit is the Kola Super Deep Borehole, a project that dug deep into the Earth's depths in search of scientific knowledge. Before your imagination runs wild, it's important to note that this hole is only 9 inches in width, making it impossible for anyone to accidentally fall into its depths. Welcome back to another fascinating docutainment video. So, just how deep does this super deep borehole go? It reaches approximately 7.5 miles beneath the Earth's surface, equivalent to about 12,262 meters. Achieving this incredible depth was no small feat, taking nearly two decades of relentless effort. The project initially set an ambitious goal, to dig as deep as humanly possible, with researchers aiming for a depth of around 9 miles, approximately 14,500 meters. However, their journey into the Earth's depths encountered an unexpected obstacle in the form of scorching temperatures. At 7.5 miles below the surface, the rocks, formed over a staggering 2.7 billion years, registered temperatures of approximately 180 degrees Celsius, or a blistering 356 degrees Fahrenheit. This was nearly double what scientists had predicted. These extreme temperatures posed significant challenges, causing deformation of the drill bits and pipes used in the project. Even the rocks themselves exhibited a surprising level of malleability at these depths, behaving more like plastic than solid rock, a phenomenon that left the scientists baffled. Despite these hurdles, the project pressed on until 1992, when drilling was finally halted. Approximately a decade later, the project site was abandoned. Nevertheless, the Kola Super Deep Borehole still proudly holds the record as the deepest man-made point on Earth, while humans have since drilled longer boreholes, including a 12,289-meter hole in the Al Shaheen oil field in Qatar and a 12,345-meter offshore oil well near the Russian island of Sakhalin, the Kola Borehole remains the deepest of them all. But why do we humans embark on such ambitious drilling endeavors? There are several reasons behind our deep excavations, and they go far beyond satisfying our natural curiosity. One primary motive is the extraction of valuable resources, such as fossil fuels and metals, which power our industries and fuel our daily lives. Mines like the 100-year-old copper mine near Salt Lake City, Utah, extend three-quarters of a mile deep into the earth, Others, like the Kimberley Diamond Mine in South Africa, reach depths of 215 meters, showcasing the extent of our quest for precious resources. Scientific exploration is another driving force. Some excavations are not about earthly treasures, but rather about unlocking the secrets of the universe. Neutrinos, nearly weightless subatomic particles produced in cosmic events like supernova and gamma-ray bursts, require detectors placed deep underground to shield them from background radiation at the Earth's surface. One remarkable example is the University of Wisconsin's Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica, which reaches depths of 1.5 miles by melting ice with hot water, a testament to our dedication to scientific discovery. Returning to the Kola Super Deep Borehole, this project was primarily driven by scientific curiosity. Soviet scientists embarked on this ambitious journey to gain a deeper understanding of Earth's outermost layer, the crust, and unravel the mysteries of its formation and evolution. However, there was also an element of competition, reminiscent of the space race, as nations vied for the prestige of reaching the Earth's core. It's worth noting that similar efforts faced challenges and financial constraints, leading to their eventual abandonment. The American Project Mole, for instance, aimed to drill into the Pacific Ocean floor off the coast of Mexico in 1958 to reach the boundary where the Earth's crust meets the mantle. Unfortunately, 
It was discontinued in 1966 after reaching a mere 183 meters, which is just a fraction of a mile. In the early 90s, German scientists reached about six miles below the surface in Bavaria, Germany, encountering seismic plates and scorching temperatures of 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Regrettably, due to a lack of funds, that project was also abandoned. In ocean drilling, the Japanese drillship Chikyu has probed almost two miles into the ocean floor, marking the deepest we ventured for scientific exploration. On the offshore front, BP's Deepwater Horizon holds the record for the deepest offshore hole, plunging about five miles below the seafloor, although it is better known for the infamous explosion and oil spill in 2010. In the grand exploration scheme, these deep holes symbolize our unrelenting pursuit of knowledge. They testify to our insatiable curiosity about the world beneath our feet, whether we're extracting valuable resources, pursuing scientific breakthroughs, or racing to the Earth's core. As we peer into the depths of the Kola Superdeep Borehole, we are reminded of the indomitable human spirit that propels our relentless journey into the unknown. I hope you like, subscribe, and share this video of docutainment. Thank you so much for your kind comments. See you in the next awesome video.